This video is proudly sponsored by Cameron Hoskin TV, one of the young artists at the forefront of British rising talent. Cameron covers the latest songs with a blend of some of his favourite classic pop tracks and even releases some originals sometimes. Cameron is working towards releasing his debut album, so what are you waiting for? There's lots to find out and lots to discover, so head straight over to his channel after this video to help support his singing dreams for the future. Check the description below for links to find him all across the internet, everything you could possibly need. Thank you to Cameron for supporting me by sponsoring this video. I'd appreciate you checking his videos out too. Thank you. And now, stand by for coverage live from the Olympic Games Stadium 2012. Yes, hello everybody, my name is Jaden Donovan and I am here today in the one and only London 2012 Olympic Stadium. So as I said, Jaden Donovan, I'm Jason Donovan's brother, you can expect a lot of cool stuff today, but uh, because I'm his brother, I'm Afro, kind of Australian slash American, so uh, you can hear a bit of both in today's performance. But anyway, as I said, I'm not a performer, I'm here to do the commentary, but your performer today is going to be the one and only Sir Paul McCartney at the end of today's amazing opening ceremony. So at the opening ceremony, he will be standing on a model of Buckingham Palace and people from all over the world, like all the contestants, or should I say athletes, will be walking through the gates underneath him, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be some wicked dude surf bros. Anyway, let's get on with today. So I was thinking we need to do something totally British and that's what the producers are looking for, which is why they've chosen me as today's kind of commenter, uh, presenter, whatever you call it over here, I'm not really sure. But so uh, what we were thinking, what can I do that's totally British? British. And we are like, we know, they're X Factor. So we rang up Simon Cowell, he's actually on holiday at the minute with Nicole Scherzinger, but not to worry, because we got something a lot better. This is LDN, that's London Factor, LDN Factor 2012. So obviously, as I said, we couldn't get Simon Cowell, but we have got some superstar judges for you, and the results are in. Let's find out who is going to be judging Sir Paul McCartney on his performance today. First and foremost, the one and only wildlife expert himself is Dave Lassenbrook. Then it's the one and only Nerd Sheeran. Nick G. Minaj is turning up today. Richard Hannah will be in the studio today. Well, he won't be in the arena or the studio. In fact, he's in the Masai Mara, but he's recorded a video for us. And then you've got the s s s s sensei J. So it's time to hear the performance. Here we go. So you heard that amazing performance. I thought it was just perfect. Now it's time to hear what the judges think, because what I think doesn't matter. David, what do you have to say? Yes, thank you, Jaden. It's nice to see a British primate in one's natural habitat, doing what they are good at. It's just extraordinary in my head. I cannot comprehend the process of evolution. It's just amazing. But anyway, the only one bad thing is to think all of us one day are going to be that old and wrinkly. It makes me feel bad. Okay, um, Nerd Sheeran. Well, he had bright eyes, pale face, his performance lacked snowflakes. And I guess that's a good thing, because if he had snowflakes, then he might have digested them, and if he digested them, they go into his digestive system, and if they go into there, they might have attached to the good bacteria, and we want good bacteria rather than bad bacteria. So I guess, yes, it's a good thing. Hey, 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 no, that's enough. Uh, this is a family orientated show. We don't want any of that kind of language here today. Nick G, what are your thoughts? Yo, so being the best rapper in the world, you wanna know what I think? Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think that you should all go and buy my new album, it's called Pink Sunday, Viking Reloaded, thank you. Okay, I don't see how that relates to support whatsoever, but I'm not here to argue, I'm here to commentate. So now it's time for Richard's thoughts. Unfortunately, he couldn't be with us tonight, as I said already. He's filming for his new show, it's called Top Planet Wipeout Live, uh, but he has sent this live transmission for us. Yes, thank you, Julia, um, or Amanda, or Jeremy, whoever it is. So, as you can see, I am here today in the one and only back garden of James May here in the Masai Mara, the eastern suburbs of London, this amazing city. So, we have been lucky enough to be blessed today by the company of a very rare animal. Look, close up, close up, look. It is Swift the Meerkat with a hat on. Anyway, so, uh, we were asking for your names on Facebook. Take this away from me, I don't want to touch the thing. Thank you. Anyway, so uh, we asked for your names on Facebook. You didn't give us any, because no one watches this show. Uh, but it is a BBC show, so it's worth watching. Anyway, so I'm told that on the thermal cameras, which I believe we can uh, switch to now, uh, I've got some images that were taken earlier today. Uh, or actually, oh, they're live images, that's even better, uh, of a rare species of deformed human being. Can we have a look at that? Oh, it seems that it's my next door neighbour. Oh, um, back to the studio. 
Sorry about that, um, transition problems right there. Anyway, now it's time to hear from the one and only Sensei J. Well, he could be my brother, because he makes me feel good. He makes me feel safe. But if he's mean, I'll take him down like he's a domino. Ha! Who'll be laughing now? Come on, guys. Nobody's perfect. Oh, I don't know what you're on about. This isn't worth the price tag. I'm out of here.